Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here the top stories we are tracking for you on Thursday the 14th of December. Politics erupts over parliament security breach. Opposition demands Amit Shah's resignation. China rejects India's top court verdict on JNK. Retaliates claim on Ladakh. And six Indian fishermen detained by Sri Lankan Navy. Second incident this week. And now for all the details. Heightened measures were in place around the Indian Parliament on Thursday, a day after a major security breach occurred in which a man jumped into the chamber, shouted slogans and set off a smoke canister. The proceedings of the Parliament on Thursday also saw frequent disruptions by opposition members who demanded a statement from Home Minister Amit Shah over the matter in the lower house. Several opposition lawmakers also raised slogans asking for Shah's resignation. सबने उसको कंडम किया है बहुत ही दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण घटना है इसमें कहीं दो मत नहीं है और आपने इसके तुरंत इसका संज्ञान लेते हुए इस मामले की पूरी जांच का जो है आदेश दे दिया है मैं समझता हूं कि भविष्य में हम सारे सांसद चाहे वो पक्ष के हों अथवा प्रतिपक्ष के हों सभी को सावधानी बरतने की आवश्यकता है ताकि जिनको भी हम पास देते हैं ऐसे व्यक्ति को पास न दिया जाए जो जाकर इस प्रकार की अराजक स्थिति संसद भवन के अंदर पैदा कर दे it is very important that the Home Minister, Mr. Amit Shah, must answer because the Delhi police reports to him and the agencies reports to him and he should be answerable to you. He can't hide away from this thing and run away from this responsibility. Uh, it's an intelligence failure. Meanwhile, Delhi police has filed terrorism charges against four people who were arrested in connection with the security breach. A police official said two more suspects who are absconding were involved in the Wednesday incident. Authorities have so far suspended at least eight security officials. An inquiry committee headed by the CRPF chief has also been set up to probe the security lapse which occurred on the 22nd anniversary of the attack on parliament complex. And days after India's Supreme Court upheld the validity of abrogation of Article 370, and bifurcation of the state into union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh, China on Wednesday said it rejects the top court ruling. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Mao Ning said Beijing does not recognize the union territory of Ladakh and added India's domestic judicial verdict will not change China's claim on the territory. Western section of the China-India border has always belonged to China, she was quoted as saying. Relations between both the countries have been sour since 2020, when their armies clashed along the western borders in Galwan Valley. New Delhi has maintained that relations cannot be normal until Beijing adheres to past agreements. Moving on, Pakistan's jailed former Prime Minister Imran Khan pleaded not guilty to charges of leaking state secrets under an indictment on Wednesday that dealt a new blow to his chances of contesting the general elections in February. The charges are related to a classified cable sent to Islamabad by Pakistan's ambassador in Washington last year, which Khan is accused of making public. Khan's lawyer contested the indictment, saying it would be valid only if signed by the accused. कोई फर्द जुर्म वो होती है जब आप जज उसको कहता है आप इस पे साइन करो और वो साइन कर दे फिर फर्द जुर्म होता है इट इज द सेकंड टाइम खान हैज बीन इंडिक्टेड ऑन द सेम चार्जेस आफ्टर अ सुपीरियर कोर्ट स्ट्रक डाउन एन अर्लियर इंडिक्टमेंट ऑन द टेक्निकल ग्राउंड्स सेइंग द करेक्ट प्रोसीजर हैड नॉट बीन फॉलोड खान हैज बीन इन जेल सिंस ही वाज कन्विक्टेड एंड सेंटेंस टू 3 इयर्स ऑन करप्शन चार्जेस मीनवाइल एमक्यूएम फाउंडर लीडर अल्ताफ हुसैन हैज क्लेम्ड the main iron violence was hatched by Pakistan Army and the ISI instead of PTI leader Imran Khan and his supporters who are being made a scapegoat, a report. Altaf Hussain, the founder leader of Mutahida Qawmi movement, has claimed that main iron violence blamed on former PM and PTI leader Imran Khan and his supporters was actually the conspiracy of Pakistan Army and its spy agency ISI 
in a virtual address Hussein said Pakistan is a slave of western powers and highlighted the difficulties faced by his own party MQM which has endured a military crackdown since 1990s he claimed that PTI members were also being arrested and pressured to abandon their party and join other groups created by the army can no bhai imran khan jail mein tha नौ मई इमरान खान या पीटीआई के लोगों ने नहीं किया नौ मई फौज आईएसआई ने कॉन्स्परेसी तैयार की थी पहले से कोई पाकिस्तान आजाद मुल्क नहीं है आज भी अमेरिका बरतानिया वेस्ट की पावर्स का गुलाम है गुलाम है गुलाम है This comes as Pakistan's Supreme Court on Wednesday provisionally approved military court trials of over 100 PTI supporters on charges of attacking army installations on May 9. Hussein called for a level playing field requesting equal treatment for all political parties and the lifting of bans on speeches and rallies ahead of elections in February. Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina in a stern statement on Wednesday expressed outrage over a fatal train derailment in Ghazipur district and accused opposition BNP the Bangladesh Nationalist Party for the incident and of attempting the overthrow the government through violence Hasina condemned BNP for its daily arson attacks strikes and blockades and urged the party to engage in the democratic process and let the people decide through elections The BNP has announced to boycott the parliamentary elections on January 7 blaming PM Hasina of crackdown and authoritarianism. Moving on, at least 6 Indian fishermen from Tamil Nadu state were arrested by the Sri Lankan Navy on Wednesday which alleged they were poaching in Sri Lankan waters. The Navy in a statement said they will be handed over to the Miladi Fisheries Inspector for further legal action. This is the second such incident within this week after 25 fishermen were detained on similar charges. The fishermen issue has long been a matter of concern between India and Sri Lanka as they share an expansive oceanic border without any perceptible demarcation. Fishermen from both the countries frequently stray into each other's territory while netting their catch and end up spending years in jail. Thousands of migratory birds have thronged the Poppitora Wildlife Sanctuary in India's northeastern Assam state and reaching the picturesque Brahmaputra River. Home to the endangered one-horned rhino, the sanctuary with the onset of winters turns refuge for migratory birds who come from parts of Siberia, Europe and other parts of the world. To prevent poaching, 25 anti-poaching camps have been set up by the authorities. Tourists from India and abroad alike also visit the sanctuary to watch these birds including teals, storks, darts and many more. Uh, the coming of the migratory birds uh, this year has started already and uh, from over the whole world and uh, we are expecting a little more than comparison to that of last year. Uh, we estimated around 69 species of birds. um and 13000 in numbers in last year but we are expecting a bit more this year woh acha lagta hai woh pobita wale sense mein hamara idhar mein itna siriya aata hai desh videsh se woh foreign bhi aata hai idhar mein dekhne ke liye woh acha lagta hai that's all in tonight's edition we'll see you same time tomorrow good night Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.